Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about what not to do as a beginner trader. So mistakes to avoid is the topic of this video, and we're going to dive right into it. First mistake to avoid not having a clear strategy that has been tested with data. So you know what to expect when you take a trade. We're all guilty of this. When we start out, we place a lot of trades because we think the market will do X and there's no actual strategy behind it. We're just looking at the chart and saying, Hey, you know, it feels like we're going to do this, or it looks like we're going to do this. That's the biggest mistake. The biggest mistake is we shouldn't be risking any money until we have used data, used back testing, traded SIM and understood the stats of, Hey, when I see this form with multiple confluences, then the win rate is X amount. Uh, this is the risk reward that I'm using. This is my stop loss. I need to place on that. And this is my average take profit. I need to place on that. I know it's overwhelming. There's a lot of things, but it's the biggest single mistake that a trader can ever make. It's to be going into the market, placing trades, risking real money when there's no clear strategy. There's no guidelines. There's no rules. There's no trading plan behind all this. And mo most importantly, the numbers and the data actually gathered. Don't make that mistake. If you want to be profitable very fast within 12 months or less or 24 months, definitely take the time to go ahead and just trade on SIM and back test, back test, back test, gather data on a bunch of different strategies. And that's how you build a profitable strategy and profitable system over time. The second big mistake is not having a trading plan. And with that, it's not following the trading plan. And this, this stage actually of trading is, it takes a long time. When I say not having a trading plan, I'm saying you don't have the rules set out of, I only trade during these times. Uh, and I stop after two losses. I stop after one win or, after I take an X amount of loss, I'm done for the day. You know, rules, you know, it could be five to 10 rules that you read out loud every single day. You know, if you don't have that trading plan set in place, where you read the trading plan and say, this is, you know, I'm only allowed to trade NASDAQ or I'm only allowed to trade ES. These are all things to make sure that you stay disciplined. That's the trading plan. And then following it is a whole other beast, right? You might go three months, really disciplined. You're following your trading plan and then you, you screw up and you give back a month, month's profit because you took a trade that you, it wasn't in your rule book or you traded outside of your trading times. I got stuck in that for so long. I had my trading plan. I was profitable. I would make some money, uh, you know, my, my trading hours, which is 9 30 to 12. And then I would end up taking a, a setup that came at 12 30 or one o'clock. And then it would be a loss and it would give back all of my profit. And I would go back to break even or slightly red. And I had to, this took me a year. I still have to battle it, but you know, there's so often where I took a trade outside of my trading time because I saw a setup that looked so good. But since it was outside of my trading time, it's not as high probability of it working out. And because of that, I give back profits. The third and final mistake is just not being disciplined. If you're not disciplined in your real life, you know, waking up at a specific time, you know, doing things when you don't want to do it, but you said you would do it, that's discipline. If you don't have discipline as a person, then you will not make it as a trader. And it's a big mistake that all traders make when they start out. They may not have the discipline and they quit following the rules and they just, you know, revenge trade, double the size up after a loss. There's plenty of different things that fall under being an undisciplined trader. But just know that if you can build discipline in your personal life, then you will be a much better trader and you'll stay much more disciplined in your trading. So that is a huge thing that a lot of everyone can always work on so it's it's a never ending battle but you know the more you work on your own discipline the better you're going to get in the markets let me know which of the three was most valuable to you personally the discipline one that's honestly what it comes down to for me and the better my discipline gets the better my trading gets subscribe for more videos just like this my goal is to help, help make you a consistently profitable trader thanks so much for watching hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video